At a time when man holds sovereignty over the land, there persists one domain still unconquered, the sea. Guys, we arrived at Fuku and uh, I need to give you a room tour because it's just so gorgeous. Come with me. Here is our terrace with a view and the sound of the sea. Thank you. Xin <laughs> chào. We have a beautiful coffee station. We have a gorgeous bed and a little working area. And next we go to our bathroom. We're just looking at it outside. It's so pretty. I feel like it's full of mosquitoes, by the way. A little bit. But the location is gorgeous. I think I need to take my camera closer. It's good now. It's still good. Hello. Hello, good morning. I I hope to make a little water talk video, part of video, while I'm waiting for my security gun half to get ready and go with me for breakfast. As you so a little room tour. I'm right now in the Pork Mango Bay Resort, uh, which is pretty much 15 minutes from football city. And yeah, it's pretty chill here. I really like it. I, I, I need to say that I would definitely recommend. I don't have really a lot of experience when it comes to resorts because I'm usually like very active traveler walking around the cities. So, but I would say that this one is uh, it's really beautiful. It's, it's really worth coming and really worth staying and people are really nice and the sea is very close so before we go to breakfast I had a lot of thoughts on the way of traveling because Fukuok is the very last part of our trip it's a more um, recovery part <laughs> of our travel to Vietnam and realized that whatever I'm going to visit I'm always uh, kind of rushing to see as much as possible and to go everywhere I plan to go and I started to think about it as we are here already three days or four I realized that I haven't really had uh, vacations where I go and rest for a certain period of time. And this is pretty interesting. I realized that for the past years, 
I've been always wanted to visit so many places and so many cities and so many see so many things that I've been always in a rush of that say saying everything and my trips usually haven't been very long because I I don't even have enough days off or stuff like that. I used to plan uh, very fast trips with a lot of walking, a lot of sightseeing, a lot of visiting and somewhere in the meantime I always try to have a little day or a half to rest on the beach, to have a time to sleep longer or just have an evening off. But still the whole trips, when I think about it, they're really, really fast. It's interesting to realize that actually Sometimes going for vacation to do nothing is, is a great idea. I'm really happy about that. And I think I needed this. I needed this over time. I can call it like this. Yesterday was raining the whole day and we played Monopoly for literally half of the day. And, and I love it. And I love it so much. It reminds me of a vacation when I was a kid. Playing Monopoly, just enjoying life. Maybe today we'll go somewhere, but we'll see, because for now it's uh, it's raining a lot, so I'm not really sure if... But if not, we'll make some revenge from Monopoly, or we'll just spend time around walking. See you guys very soon.